in Sportbox Europe at cnbc.com, our email address. We'll come back to you a little bit later on in the program. But let's stick with the theme and bring in Harry Geller. He is senior trader at GNFX. Um, Harry, you were here, uh, listening to Steve there, and the questions that are coming from our viewers seem to be the fact that the market's perception is really changing of what's acceptable and what's not. When you take a look at, say, for example, Portugal, what's the worst case scenario for, say, the euro? if they do end up having to take a bailout and what's the best case scenario? Well of course the bailout will, is likely to really affect the markets. Um, a lot of comparisons have been made at the moment between what's happening in the run-up to this bail well, potential bailout and what happened out with the Irish bailout as well and there are a lot of similarities that we can call on and us analysts look at to sort of see how the the markets are likely to affect afterwards. Um, however it's not as sort of clear-cut as that. Uh, Portuguese interest rates are a lot lower than we found out in Ireland um, and the economic situation was a lot more critical in Ireland back in November before the bailout. So we're, we're suggesting that in the next sort of three months, obviously today is going to be a major deciding factor with the 1.25 billion euro uh, bond auction. Um, it's already up at, above the critical level, it's been up as high as 7.4% for the 10 year bond yields. So we are suggesting that if this goes badly today um, and we see anything but um, an oversubscribed auction, we could start to see a lot more pressure going on to the Portuguese at the moment. Obviously, if this bailout does happen, we're likely to see a lot of euro weakness in the next sort of coming months. We've already had to uh, reconvene our um, three-month and six-month forecasts. Um, at the moment, we're forecasting sterling euro in three months for 1.25, whole five points above the levels we're currently seeing. And for six months, we're going slightly less bullish at 1.28. The ECB, though, seems to be um, in the mood to try and make sure that this auction doesn't fail. Mm. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, you still see this. Uh, I mean, if investors are sitting out there saying, hang on a minute, if we can get an IMF EU bailout at a cheaper rate, why not? That should be good for Portugal in some ways, because right now, the kind of yields that they're paying out, it's just unaffordable, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And, and that's why um, the Portuguese Prime Minister, Jose Socrates, has, has come out and said that they don't need this bailout. There are other options rather than going to the FSF and going to the IMF for this uh, fiscal stimulus. However, um, if, if you look into the exact details of, of what he's been saying and the pressures that he's under from the um, other political parties within Portugal not to take this bailout, then, then of course that's what he's going to be looking to do. But I, th I still believe that, um, although it's been unconfirmed, the reports out from the French and the Germans for them looking that this is the best case scenario for them to take the bailout um, and ease pressure on those two sort of mm -hmm. countries from propping up the rest of the Eurozone. All right, Harry, appreciate you coming in. Thanks very much for that. Harry Geller there, a senior trader at GNFX. Well, and a quick look at what's coming up on CNBC throughout the day. Worldwide Exchange will connect.